Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in Hurricos, where, uh, well, we need to smash some robots, burn a bunch of, what are they called, gearheads? Gear grinders! I guess that's what they call the people who build all this weird tech. Ooh, I wasn't sure I'd be able to do both of those things, uh, fast enough. Oh, hey, look, there's a four-leaf clover just there. Huh. Oh, there's several of them. They're probably not clovers, then. Hello. Goodbye. Four digits of gems. Oh yeah. Well. a pair of, uh, purple people beaters. I saw that! He vanished! Ah! These gear grinder thieves keep taking our lightning stones! If you can replace them all and activate our generator, I'd be very grateful. Four stars. Ca replace the lightning stones, catch the thieves. Well, they're right here, so I'm just gonna go burn them and see what happens. Ten? Where am I gonna find ten purple Shreks? Tingly! <laughs> oh, yes. Huh, why didn't that count? Close enough. I miss. Not exactly right that time. Oh. So where the fuck does this one go? Definitely not in there. The sea of good is not needed. Well, that's just weird. Ah, there's one. Am I missing something here? I like the reflections, that's neat, but... Why was it over here if it's just not here? Let's see about uh, using the ones that are over here first and find a gap. Otherwise, I'm just delaying the problem slightly. No, you don't. Lightning thieves, huh? I guess that's where the extra one goes, right here. Ah, I see. That's the problem. I just have to keep doing this until those guys stop coming back. What am I doing? 
let me guess. If I put them all back, someone will come and knock them all away. I think those things on the top would have our uh, electricity arcing between them. Into the sea of goo with you. Hey, sorry about that. I put them all in, and I probably have to do this over and over. Sometimes I look at games of the past and do wonder if tedium had not been invented as a concept yet. <laughs> oh. Denser than I thought. Wait, what is... Oh no, there is a slot missing over here. Good! I, was say, I brought the other one over there. And did the thing with it. You get back here, you big stupid fuck. Freaking naked Thanos over there. Oh. What the hell? Okay, fuck that one. Of course that worked. Don, you go in this one now. garbage washing ashore later today. <laughs> what is this machine supposed to do, anyway? Placing the lightning stones will bring the thieves out, so you can catch them! Two more! I was thinking the other day about, uh... Specifically, I was thinking about Grand Theft Auto 3, speaking of games from around this era. I think that was 2001. And, uh... I was thinking about how... You know, at the time, GTA 3 was seen as absolutely revolutionary. You know, it redefined an entire industry. Invented its own genre. Now, I'm pretty certain if you went back and played it now, it would seem very generic, because... Essentially... That was the proof-of-concept game. That the, the point of that game was, we are inventing the 3D open-world game. So... 
everyone who came after it was, okay, let's take the 3D open world game and put some weird gimmick on it so that we stand out. Which means these days you look at GTA 3 and all you see by modern standards is a completely ordinary open world game with nothing fancy about it. I remember discovering that there was a page for this concept for, like, old things, which now seem generic because they inspired the uh, entire genre they were part of. They did call that page, uh, Seinfeld Isn't Funny, which I found fun an odd name because Seinfeld was never funny. <laughs> no, it is being rude out of nowhere. Um, I mean, it wasn't my cup of tea, but I wasn't, like, a dick about it. Uh, begrudge people whatever they like to watch. I mean, for the most part. Aha! Victory is mine! Thank you, Spyro. I found this shiny thing mixed up with our lightning stones. Please, take it as a reward. I feel like this particular voice actor is, uh... <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted by Sparks. Uh, one of the fairly recent Sonic the Hedgehog voice actors, which, if it's the guy I'm thinking of, would make him the guy who voiced Chris Redfield in Resident Evil 5. Was that Roger Craig Smith? I can't remember off the top of my head. It might be Roger Craig Smith. I'm not even sure this is the guy. It just sounds like him. Excellent. Oh, if you wanted to chase some lightning th uh, thieves for fun, you could do that. Huh. Still no arcs. Oh, well, I'll just have to accept that. I just hope it's not like charging a super weapon or something. That would be embarrassing for me. Okay, it looked like a giant rocket, but, you know, maybe not. Fire. Okay. Where am I going to find four more enemies? I mean, it was lame enough that... Oh, right. I have some of those. It's lame enough that they uh, didn't count the uh, the streaking lightning thieves there. No. ones. 1,111 jammery dudes. Oh. Sorry. So, uh, that particular thing right there where I pushed the sparks button... That was me attempting to push the crouch button, because I've been playing a lot of uh, other games lately. Pretty sure they use opposite sticks, which is kind of confusing, but, uh... Oh, well, that's convenient. Sorry. But yes, uh... Two of the games I've been playing a lot of lately, Control and Elden Ring, have uh, both have, you know, crouching to be... Uh, subtle in it. Less of a thing in control, because it's a third-person shooter where you cannot aim while crouching. 
I was about as subtle, personally, as uh, uh, an avalanche. Oh. That was a neat little interaction. Almost made me feel guilty. Almost. Not quite. How do they always know I'm approaching? These guys look like they couldn't find their ass at both hands in a map. How do they have such good uh, situational awareness? I mean, if you're going to have a giant gear, surely it should be turning. I'm just saying. Huh. I've just realized the parts between the blades are like... Essentially like transparent plastic with wind painted on them. That's very clever. Do I have a thing for this? I do like that. The satisfaction of just sitting still while uh, my friend boops the crystals over to me. Thank you, Spyro. You've deactivated all of the electric barriers. Uh, we've been guarding this talisman from the gear grinders. Please, take it as a reward. Let me guess. It's a uh, diode. Oh, no. Pretty. Hey, was that there before, or did my friend just install a portal without asking? You are always welcome to return to Huracos, Spyro. Huracos. We have a confirmation. Oh, that power-up should be working, then. Lightning bolt. That's... Oh, I see. But what's the point of that? There were no ramps or anything. Oh, of course! God damn. Well, I mean, obviously, I need to get that with it, but I think it's about these windmills. Death to you! Oh no, I've deactivated life support! Oh no, I've deactivated air conditioning! Hardest right anyone has ever righted. Fuck, not that hard. I will never outrun that sparkle. Uh. No, I almost did it there. Even totally blind. Fuck! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was exactly the same spot. Bingo! Oh, hello. Spiral, do you see that big building over there? You're gonna need to the be more specific. They're using it to steal our electricity! Please, help us by shutting down the machinery inside! That could be deadly to these guys, since it seems like electricity courses through them. Glide over to the factory. 
In order to get to the building over there, you must first jump on the windmill, then jump to the near side of the building. Oh, that's why I slowed things down. Okay. That was weird. Aw, oh, fuck. Well, I have my objective. Honestly, that shouldn't be as difficult. If I do this right. Just me to set this from uh, fast to possible. But, uh, I need to check something real quick. Okay, yes, the timer was right. It's the end of the video. So, before we do this crazy jumping thing... I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh, Spyro Sparks and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Spyro 2! Ripto's Rage Reignited. Uh, get some more treasure, kick some more ass, and look good while doing it. <laughs> Later! <laughs>